Hello, my name is Seppi and welcome back to Deliver Us Mars. Let's see if we can deliver Mars because we are now heading out in a dust storm to get to Ark Vita. I'm quite sure I'm about to cause the next big chaos. Fantastic. Dad! Help me! Where are you? Dad! Here! Come over here! Where are you? Where are you? Quick, honey. There you are. Was this how Hurry. I'm here? <laughs> Was this how the, the house got destroyed? Get up, Liz. Come on. Liz, the storm's over. Come on now. Get up. Get up. It's time, it's time to get up. Oh, God. Oh, God. Dad, oh, God. please. Oh, God. God, if we just move. Dad. God, if we just move. Come on. Oh man. And <laughs> ah okay. Just want to say not seeing much here. Oh, 
Arc meter. At least we can now bring two arcs back to Earth. And save Earth. Right? Right, Kathy. We are saving Earth. Right? We're not doing anything stupid now. We're here to save Earth. Right? Right, Kathy? Don't flip it. That's it. Okay. What? Is this a dream? Am I dreaming? What's going on here? Hi. Excuse me. <laughs> Don't mind me. Can't get up there. Hi. It's uh, me, I guess. Having bees? This looks like a bee helmet. Even having water. We also have some fish. Okay. Not bad. No one is stopping me, no one is running towards me, attacking me, doing something to me. Hi. Isaac here. Isaac Johansson. So big.
All right. And no one is saying anything. No one of the other in message. inhabitants are saying something. Yeah. But the only bit that got through was the first word. Moon Moon bear. Bear. They have quickly growing trees, I guess. I would have given anything to them. Um... Isaac, Conrad here. Hey, Con. We're still low on carbon. You need about a thousand cc's from Habitus to finish up Venus Prince. No, oh, really sorry. Uh, Odum's dropping fast, so Miyoshi's hydrogen request takes priority. But, but I'll, I'll authorize your request immediately so Jill can add it to the next run. Sure thing. Thanks. Authorize the request, Argus. Is that MacArthur's ASC? Yes. I took him with me after the, uh, well. He's the only people that survived. Yes. I really wish there were more, but it was, it was, it was a dark day. We've been through a lot. The division, the violence. Our energy resources are really limited ever since that day. Bees! I knew it! The that we have in abundance is oxygen coming in from habitats. Besides that, we really have to balance what our resources allow us to sustain, which is... which is difficult. Wait, 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 wait! I had to see the bees! It's so... beautiful here. It looks even prettier than Earth. Yeah. The other colonists, they're not really happy to see me, are they? Oh, it, it's not that. Um, I never told them I sent that message. I don't think they ever expected to see anyone else ever again. Oh. And now what? What did I learn about the bees? Bees, actual bees. Never even seen one before. And on Mars, no less. They're even more beautiful than I imagined. Bees! Claire would go on and on about them. <laughs> Meet me at Ark Beater. Yeah. So now what? Can I snoop around for a bit longer? I don't think there's much more to snoop around, I guess. But I mean, the, the, those trees are fascinating. I mean, they've old, old tree. There's a screwdriver. Why is there a screwdriver? They have, they have very old trees. And only a couple of years have passed. Oh, how did they do that? But okay, so so now what? No more talking. There's a something I want to show you. It, it took a long time and more resources than I care to admit, but uh, I, I guess I just couldn't let it go. You built a second, third arc. Rescue us. We constructed our house. Well. Oh God. I, I don't have any words. Come on, have a look around. When you're done looking around, I've, I've got a surprise for you in the kitchen. Wait, this wasn't the surprise. Well, uh, y yes and no. Oh, but now I, I may be hyping up too much. Um, maybe you won't like it. Uh, uh, just, just enjoy and look around. First. That's us. 
Okay, he's he's having a colony on Mars. He's responsible for everyone. And uh, uses his energy to construct a house. <laughs> I see. Stanley. Hi Isaac. Good news. Survey teams have pretty much cleared the old housing project site of viable resources. They are on their way now. I think it's even more than we predicted. Though the dust storms did make much of the outer metalwork unsalvageable. Good. Yeah, definitely. If I may, you've seemed distracted the past few months. Is everything okay? Yes, fine. Is there anything I can help with? Don't worry. Just busy like the rest of us. When it's decided with production, let me know what the next survey point is, please. Of course. Alright. There's not a lake, but still nice. Marsman! Issue 7! Ooh! Convergence. After suffering heavily heavy casualties during the battle, the astronaut retreats to the Martian plains alone. As he tries to survive the Martian desolation, he contemplates the consequences of his actions. Emerging enlightened, enlightened from the deserts, the astronaut begs for forgiveness. The Martians, in a stroke of gen generous compassion, grant the astronaut clemency. Second chance to do his part. A real effort to try. Will the astronaut be able to better himself and stay pure? Alright. So... Oh, I, I missed another Mars issue. Oh, man. There are so many Marses. But he's constructing my, my room. Can't go outside, I guess. So what surprise do you have in the kitchen? So, was this something special you promised me? <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> I think I might have oversold it. Um, here it is. <laughs> I, I know you're too old for it. I made it myself with wood grown right here over there in fact I guess I just needed it to remind me of you it is extremely delicate so please be careful not like the uh, dozens you destroyed before <laughs> what's wrong don't you like it I found all these holograms about what happened here. And what you did. Oh, all right. Oh. <laughs> you must think I'm some kind of monster. I would understand. I, I think about it every day. I lost hope of ever seeing you again. And I, I, I tried to stay out of it. I've made so many mistakes in my life. 
But, uh... That day that... I had to stop them both. Before they destroyed it all. Why didn't you choose for Rosa and Homewood? <laughs> Why didn't you try to come home to us? It's complicated. You're here now. You're here now. I'm, I, I'm never going to let you out of my sight. I'm going to keep you safe. You are here safe. I promise. Dad, I... We came here to save you. Right? Save me. To bring you back to Earth. You you want to you want to bring me back? But I didn't send the message for you to save me. I sent the message for you to, to be here with me. But what are you, what are you doing here? You, you want to take me back to the bell? What was the plan? What was the plan? I... I don't know. But... But Dad, we, we need to bring the Ox back home. To save us. The colony is stable. We made it. We made it work for, for all of us. I made it work for you. <laughs> Please, you, you must listen to me, Mimba. Humanity destroyed the Earth. They'll destroy the Ark too. They'll go to the highest bidder or, or the, the strongest nation. They, d they don't. Look at what we've achieved. Moon base. Outward. Was there ever a plan to save her? What did he expect sending that message? I mean, did he think I, myself, would just build a spacecraft and fly out to Mars alone? Oh, man. He's so naive. But he did well, that's for sure.
Where's you? No time. We need to hide. They're coming back. Where can we go? Quick. We need to be quick. Who's who's coming back? We can hide underneath the stairs. In the closet. Quick. Let me talk to Kathy about that. Kathy? Kevin was certain, Isaac. It's Sarah Baker. She must have taken our rover back over here. Kathy. How did they even get here, Isaac? How did they find us? She's gone. What? Kathy is gone. Where did she go? I don't know, but find her. Please. Now! Unison, my daughter the intruder are missing. Lock off the entrance and check every inch of the dome. Find them. You're okay. I'm fine. Let's go. And we're doing what? Sarah, I know what I did. I, I heard it. It's all right. I, I heard everything. I have one too. No, no. We have to get back to Habitat. This place is swarming. Guys, I've got a bit of a situation over here. Yeah? Yeah, those colonists really didn't like you stealing their rover. They're trying to get in. Okay. I brought the elevator stream boy in and threw up some barricades. Big brain move. Be careful. You need to get back here, or they're going to stop us from leaving altogether. Yep, we need to steal another rover, sneak past a ton of colonists. We need to press on to Arc Vita. Ryan, redirect Habitas's power to Vita and prep for launch. We are gonna head that way right now. We're doing this? Okay, copy that. Heading to the NPD terminal now. Be careful out there. Both of you. I saw a path on the way out. Yeah. You okay? Ha! Huh. Yep. <clears throat> I'll live. Let's go. All right, we're Follow going me. to to steal a spacecraft, I guess. And leave them all die down here on the surface of Mars. Fantastic. Great plan. Quick, hide! The biofriender unmanned this long. Someone needs to go back to the Ark and Cat. we'll have bigger problems. Hurry up, they're nearly here. Him. Now let's go. Where should I hide? Where should I hide? It's clear. <sighs> okay, just give me one second. I think that facility leads to the Ark. Looks like it, yeah. How's our chances of just walking in without any hassle? Not good. I was afraid of that. Maybe there's another way in. There's a maintenance shaft that might get us there with a bit of a detour. I'm not sure I can handle more detours. Maybe I can do something to create a diversion. Bees. That's their pump regulator that controls the incoming oxygen from Arc Habitas. You're right. Why? Look, no one is wearing a pressurized suit. If I temporarily turn it off, everyone will be forced to suit up or get to safety. We could use that distraction to get you in there. I can use the maintenance tunnel to get to the facility unnoticed. Kathy, I, I don't know about this. I'll meet you at the entrance. Good luck. Well, before we uh, put all of them in danger that they suffocate, I think uh, yeah, it's time to, to take another break. Next time, next time we will steal Arc Vita, I guess, <laughs> and leave them here on the surface of Mars. That's that's cruel. That's very cruel. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode and hope you're joining me next time. Until then. My name is Eppy. See you.
Thank you.